I've uploaded the JXL files with the scan and image data onto a hard drive. Now from that hard drive, I'm going to download this data onto my desktop. First I'll create a folder to organize my data. I'm going to title this Earthworks. Next I'll open up my hard drive and drag and drop the associated JXL scan data and image data into the Earthworks folder. Now that we have this file on the desktop, it can be imported into a new TBC project. But first I'll show editing the JXL. Now that we have the JXL and the associated scan and image files on our desktop, we can view the JXL. If you select the JXL and open it with a text editor, in this case I'm going to use Notepad++, this will bring up the JXL and inside the JXL is a XML-like format where you can view your information and edit anything if necessary. Trimble Business Center is the complete survey office software for streamlining field to finish workflows. This software package allows users to process and edit survey data such as total station, GNSS, and leveling, perform CAD creation tasks and plotting, data editing and preparation, surface and corridor creation and reporting, point cloud manipulation, and aerial photogrammetry workflows. The first step in using TBC is to open a new project file, also called a VCE file, which is the file extension. Select or create a template. In this case, I'm going to use a metric template for that is the units in which the data was collected. Next, select the import command or drag and drop the JXL file into the plan view. Using the Import pane, browse to the file folder location and select Import. A dialog box is displayed asking for a user entered scale factor. This tells the user that the imported file is a scale only or a local coordinate system. We will use scale factor 1, which is what was intended in the field. Once the scan data has been imported, TBC will automatically colorize the point cloud data. This process can take a long time depending on the size and amount of scans imported. You can skip this process by clicking stop and colorize later. Now our data is displayed in the plan view window. On the left hand side of the screen is the project explorer. This contains all objects in the current project, such as points, station setups, images, point clouds, and surfaces. Select the drop down arrow beside the object to display any associated data or information. In this case I've selected a survey point and it has a control coordinate as well as several observations associated to it. As well you can select the object right click and display the properties. Next in the view ribbon there is a display window named the view filter manager. Here you can create custom selection sets to turn on and off certain objects and layers or make them viewable but not editable. In this project, we want to turn off total station observations to remove project clutter. On the top of the view filter manager command pane, there's several options, some for isolating layers, hiding layers, viewing only layers, as well as hiding non-visible layers. And there's also an advanced view filter setting. I'll turn the total station data back on so we can view this in the station view. Looking at the main screen, we have the plan view open. This shows a 2D representation of the data contained in your project. One way of viewing the survey station is through the station view. 
Select the station in either the Plan View or Project Explorer, right-click, and select Station View. This brings up a new pane. Here you are shown the perspective of the scan or total station. Another key viewing pane is the 3D view. You can select the 3D view under the View ribbon. Using this view, users are able to pan and zoom in a three-dimensional environment. This is crucial when working with point cloud data as you will see in the following videos. Now that the data is in Trimble Business Center, we are able to navigate and view it in several ways. We can fix any field blunders and prepare the data for modeling and deliverable creation.